after you, whenever you're ready, Chris. Okay. Um, well, welcome to uh, the, the last uh, apprentice board meeting. Um, just like to say thanks for the opportunity to you guys for giving us a chance to uh, show uh, our qualities and also our weaknesses. So I'd like to say well done to Louise also. Um, fantastic um, opponents, I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, that's very well done for that. Um, so, um, we we'll start by week one, um, leadership and innovation. And uh, with regards to leadership, I've considered that uh, I successfully led the team to, to hit the target um, required uh, three out of the four days uh, by using different approaches. Um, in a, maybe a little bit of innovation in there also, um, using things that other teams didn't necessarily use. Um, and also motivated them by uh, using incentives as well. Um, obviously we had the, uh, the funding for it. Um, I used uh, obviously the battleships incentive which went down very well. You know, everyone enjoyed it and it was a bit fun. Uh, it was a bit different. Um, but it, more importantly it stayed with the theme that, that, I, um, that I chose for, for the team HMS Listen. Um, the buzz sessions were uh, informative and quite enjoyable for the team uh, and also myself. Um, also, um, in, inside these board sessions, I discussed the impact on leads and also absences. Um, I know for the first day, one member of staff was uh, about an hour late, so um, it wasn't the best to start of the week. But um, after a catch up and uh, discussion, you know, it, it was sort of outlined what, what I expected of the members of staff um, for the rest of the week um, and also for the, the, the duration of the competition that I'd be uh, managing them. Um, one member of the team through the weekend um, also wasn't happy um, not getting donations and um, it was affecting the, the team around, uh, I suppose. And, um, so what I did um, in a leadership sense was ask them to just take five minutes um, you know, to try and um, calm yourself, focus um, and then come back and I felt, you know, feel a bit more refreshed. And uh, you end up getting a donation with half an hour, within half an hour of that on uh, the cross sale campaign, which you know is a big achievement in itself. Um, and I like to think at the end of this week that uh, uh, again respect and trust from uh, the team in, in a sort of leadership capacity. Um, with, with regards to the innovation, um, as I say, the, the theme that I chose uh, to, um, for for the actual uh, first week was uh, the HMS edition. I wanted the sort of naval theme. And as I mentioned, they used the battleships game because it was something different and it was a bit fun. And uh, the, basically, every time they got a donation, they, you know, they, they really did enjoy playing against me. Uh, I was trying to sink the ships, and they, they really felt like they got something out of it when, when they, they, because they knew they, they were performing. Um, also, I, found that, I did find the week uh, quite um, negative in a way in terms of innovation. Uh, but I did try to, to do the presentation, uh, you know, the differently, um, and the innovation sort of backfired on me in that sense, um, and the presentation sort of fell apart. So, I mean, I was disappointed, but I mean, the criticism that I, uh, I received at the end of that, you know, I sort of on the chin and sort of got on board for the next week. Um, I also sort of innovated, um, I don't know if it, if it will clash this innovation, but I, I gave them a management feedback sheet. Um, which I'm not sure has been done before. Um, uh, just thought to dash for Hi there, um, I'm just going to speak as, as Chris did, um, obviously talking about the last three weeks in the apprentice programme, what I've learned from it, what I've taken from it, and what I'm going to take forward with me. Um, but obviously, as Chris did as well, I want to take this opportunity to thank all three of you guys. Um, it's been a massive help and support, and thank you very much for the opportunity. And obviously, Chris as well, you've been a massive support to me. Both on a professional and personal level, so thank you very much. Um, yeah, so I'm letting you start. Okay, so Louise Brown, looking lovely in tan there. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. That was when I worked in IB stuff, so it was always a little bit slimmer than <laughs> But uh, yeah, future manager, team manager, you decide. That's what we're here to find out today. Okay, so um, basically the competencies that we've been assessed on over the last three weeks. 
as you all know, is innovation, leadership, teamwork, MI report, and planning organisation and delivering results. Um, so I'm just going to obviously talk through these stage by stage, and I want to talk about this week as well. So, week one. Um, so, what makes a good leader? Now, I'm not going to lie, when I first started this after the first week, or during the first week, I thought to myself, I'm ready to be a manager. Little did I know <laughs> what was in store for me. And it's actually one of the best things that could have happened. Um, my perception of a good leader now, compared to three weeks ago, is worlds apart. Um, before, I thought it was about, not about telling the boss and people and telling them what to do, uh, but now I understand that it's about being personable with people, you know, being friendly and approachable, uh, you know, being a team player, you know, there's no I in team as they say, uh, being a motivator and being helpful and um, not just obviously at the agent level but at all levels and interacting obviously with you guys as well, uh, you know, up and down the chain. Uh, so I took a massive, massive um, learning experience from that. Um, in terms of innovation, innovation is obviously something that I, I struggled slightly with. I, I did understand what innovation was, but I, I struggled to find ways of being innovative. Innovative? Innovative. innovative. That's the one. Um, what, what I thought obviously is developing the brand, um, you know, getting a uniform for people to work to so they could recognise that they were in my team, um, you know, developing the sea creatures to go with the nautical theme. These were all things that I found were quite, you know, fun and motivating um, and also, like I said, developed a brand. The innovation side of things was doing things like, you know, long-term motivators and what's going to obviously keep people, you know, going day to day, week to week, month to month, um, and obviously getting them working for myself, but not just for myself, obviously as a, a manager or leader, but for their, their selves as well. Um, so obviously that's the things that I've learned from week one. And um, going forward, I plan to develop these skills forward uh, and further, uh, you know, be, become a better leader, become a better, more friendly, more approachable, more personal, per personable person, and, you know, implement innovation wherever I possibly can. Okay, so week two, so what makes a good team player? So it was all about MI and uh, the teamwork. Now, as you all obviously know, the teamwork is something that I think we all kind of struggled on a little bit. Um, I think it's because I'm quite an ambitious person and sometimes I let my ambition get ahead of me and that's what I've learned about myself through this whole experience. Um, but I am an ambitious person and I don't think there's anything really wrong with that but I need to also be a team player and again it's something that I thought to myself, oh, yeah, I am a team player but realising that you know I've got, it's a big development area for myself and now that I realise that I can now grow as a person, as a leader, as a team player, as a friend, as everything else. So I'm really, really glad to have taken that away from this experience. 